Hi, my name is Sarah and welcome to Move Movement Yoga. Today's class is going to be a heart opener class. And I actually woke up this morning dreaming about teaching this. So I thought I would go with that kind of intuitive feeling, which is kind of the basis of um, what I believe heart openers to be good for. Generally, we move through our day quite focused um, on the mindscape. So we move from this place of thinking and analyzing and although that serves its purpose, most of us are quite out of touch with our intuition and our heart center. So this little sequence is just gonna kind of help you drop into that space, kind of recognize how it feels to allow you to kind of soften and open up uh, a little bit more to the flow of the sequence and also maybe life. Um, I know for some people, we spend a lot of time like this in our days. So opening up and doing this can feel quite challenging. Um, not only just on a physical level, but also a emotional level. When you feel hurt or you're quite guarded, you kind of close off. Um, and yeah, it can be quite vulnerable to open this space up, but that's why it's a really, really good practice because ultimately at the end of the day, we should all be working towards moving forward through life with an open heart being able to connect to ourselves and to the people and the world around us. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this sequence, this class. Um, if you want to find me on any other places, I will leave my Instagram and my Facebook details here in the video and also down below in the bio. So if you're ready, you'll just need a mat. Um, and just to start the class, maybe a block. If you don't have a block, you can also just grab a cushion. It's something we're just gonna have behind our hearts as we lie on our, on our back to start the class. But yeah, when you're ready, let's get started. So grabbing your block or your cushion or your book, whatever it is that you might be using to prop your back up, um, just bring your block just to the tips of your shoulder blades and make yourself, make your way down onto your back. Just adjust as you come down and you just wanna drop your head and take your arms out. And just feel the lifting of your heart as it draws up. Now it's up to you how you wanna keep your legs. Um, you can have your feet planted, knees dropped in, or you can also take your legs out. If that feels good on the lower back, or you can also bring the soles of the feet together and allow the knees to drop out. I think this is where I'm gonna settle for a few moments. So as per usual at the start of every class, every movement practice, we just wanna spend a couple of moments tuning into the breath. Just paying attention to the landscape of the mind, observing, but not judging. And just beginning to feel this opening within the heart. Like I said, this space, working within this space can be quite vulnerable and scary for some. Um, so take your time, be gentle with yourself, be kind. Know that there is a little bit of courage that is involved when we move from this place, but ultimately the rewards of that are incredibly beautiful. So just tune in, bring your attention to your heart space. Now keeping your mouth closed, I just want you to breathe in and out through the nose. Nice deep breaths. Rich and full into the belly. Now begin to plant a seed of intention for this class. So just let the body intuitively tell you what that might be. Maybe a little bit more openness within your life, softness, love, courage. 
whatever it is, tune into the heart and just let it come through you. ready we're just going to continue to focus on that as we move through the class you can slowly begin to draw your knees in if they're folded out like mine and we'll just make our way up just take it slow be mindful of your transitions you can remove your block and we will just come into a easy cross-legged position so we'll continue to warm up the spine. So bring your hands onto your knees and we'll do a seated cat cow. So as you inhale, pull on your knees as you begin to puff your chest up, take your eye gaze up towards the ceiling, drop your head slightly. As you exhale, round forward, drop your chin towards your chest. Inhale, pull on the knees, puff the heart up. Exhale, round. Keeping that breath in and out through the nose. Inhale, one more round. Inhale, puff the chest up. Exhale, rounding. From here, we'll just take a little twisting. So as you inhale, sweep your arms up. And as you exhale, bring one hand onto your knee, one hand behind you as you take your eye gaze over your shoulder, feel long through the crown of your head. Inhale, draws you up. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, draws you up. Exhale, rotate. One more, one more on the last side. Inhale. Really reach up, find that length, and then exhale, rotate. From here, sweep your arms up back through center. Just to neutralize the spine, you can bring your hands through prayer. Just bringing them in front of your heart, pushing the hands in towards each other. Feeling the energy between the palms. Nice connected and grounded breath. And then when you're ready, we're going to make our way onto our hands and our knees. So stacking the shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. You can have your toes tucked or untucked depending on what works for you. I find my toes tucks helps with my stability, but if you like the feeling of the tops of your feet down, you can go for that as well. We're just gonna go through some moving cat cows so i'll talk you through it so what we're going to do is you're going to sink the belly as you tilt your sit bones up towards the air and shine your heart towards the front of your mat as you exhale you're going to draw your hips back as you come down onto your heels keep your chest lifted and then you're going to round forward on your inhale as you come all the way back onto your hands and your knees so exhale sink the belly shine the heart forward pull the hands back sink the hips down Inhale, round. Keep the chin tucked until you arrive to the top. Exhale, take the head forward, eye gaze goes forward, draw the hips back. One more round, inhale. Rounding forward. And as you exhale, sink the hips, shine the heart and take it slow. Really slow, draw the hips back. Keep the chest lifted, eye gaze goes forward. On your next breath, we're going to come all the way forward, untuck your toes, and just adjust yourself onto your belly. From here, we're going to walk the elbows underneath the shoulders. Forearms come down and really spreading wide through the fingertips. So we're just going to come into our first little heart opener or back bend. I prefer to call them heart opener because we really want to focus on the heart space, pulling up through this area and less kind of bending into the back, even though that does happen as we open the heart. So it's really key to focus on our foundation. So in this part, um, the, our foundations are in our legs and our lower back. So we want to have active legs. So I want you to push the tops of your feet into the mat, draw your ankles towards each other as you activate your inner legs, then begin to push your pelvis into the floor. As you inhale, Pull your hands towards your heart as you begin to lift your chest up. Making sure you keep that activation in the lower part of the body, drawing the navel in and connecting to the breath. Then nice and slow, you're gonna release. You're gonna tuck your toes and we're gonna do that transition into our child's pose but with our chest lifted. So pull the hips up, 
keep your eye gaze up. And then when you arrive, you're going to round forward and we come all the way back down onto the belly. Untuck the toes, walk the hands forward, sphinx pose, push into the tops of the feet, activate the ankles towards each other, push the pelvis into the floor, draw your navel in, pull your hands towards your heart as you lift your chest up. See if you can find a little bit more space, really drawing up through the heart. And then as you exhale, release, tuck the toes, draw the hips back, keep the chest up. One more, round forward, come all the way onto the belly, lower down, untuck the toes, arms come forward. Keep the foundation of your lower body as you inhale, pull your hands towards your heart and lift your heart up. And then as you exhale, release. We'll push back into our child's pose, keep the chest lifted. And we're gonna round up into our downward facing dog. When you arrive, you can pedal through the feet, if that feels good. Grounding down through the hands, maybe taking some little side twists, if that feels good. Just working with what you need in your body right now. I can offer you guidance as we move, but ultimately the experience is all yours. So f just work towards what feels good, what feels juicy, what feels spacious. Connect to the breath. From here, you're gonna draw the right leg up and towards the air, bend the knee, and then you're gonna plant your foot between your hands. Drop your back knee down and we come into a low lunge. So from here, inhale your hands up, take your eye gaze up. And then as you exhale, bring your hands through center. From here, you're gonna begin to cactus your arms and you're going to need to draw your chest up towards the ceiling. Imagine someone's pulling your heart up by a string. See if you can pull up. So sink, avoid sinking down into the legs, really pulling up. And then as you exhale, round forward as you bring your elbows and your, your hands towards each other. Inhale, puff the heart up. Exhale, round. Last one, inhale. Exhale, round. Bring the fingertips down, pick up your back knee, push into a plank position. From here, lower through your chaturanga all the way down onto the belly. From here, we're gonna come into our baby cobra. So hands by the chest, once again, pushing the tops of the feet into the mat, drawing the ankles towards each other, pushing your pelvis into the floor. And as you inhale, squeeze your elbows as you lift your chest. Just nice and small for the first one. Exhale, release. Tuck the toes, draw the hips back, keep the chest lifted. Then round up into your downward facing dog. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Left leg comes up into the air, draw the knee in towards the chest, plant the foot at the top of the mat. Drop the back knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands through center into your prayer position. And as you inhale, draw your elbows out as you puff your heart up towards the ceiling. Exhale, round, draw the elbows and forearms towards each other. Inhale, puff up. Exhale, round. Last one, inhale. And as you exhale, bring your hands down, frame your front foot, pick up your back knee, find your plank position. Shift your weight over the wrists, bend your elbows, and lower down all the way onto the belly. Keep your foundation in the bottom half of your body. As you inhale, pick up your chest, squeeze your elbows in. As you exhale, release. Tuck the toes, keep the chest lifted. Push back into your child's pose just for a moment, and then round forward into your downward facing dog. Take a moment to breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. Then from here, you're gonna come into the balls of your feet. You're gonna begin to draw your navel in towards your spine. As you find yourself rounding forward, keep your chin tucked and coming into a plank position. You can stay here for a breath and then as you exhale, 
Lower your hips, draw your shoulders back, come into an upward facing dog with your toes tucked. Then bend your knees, draw your hips back, keep your chest lifted, eye gaze is the last thing to drop until you arrive back into your downward facing dog. We'll do two more. Inhale, come into the balls of the feet, draw the navel up, keep the chin tucked, find your plank position. Exhale, sink the hips, draw the shoulder blades back, nice strong legs as you draw the heels back. Then as you exhale, bend the knees, push back into your downward facing dog. One more, come into the balls of the feet, begin to wave yourself forward. Find your high plank, exhale. Upward facing dog, nice strong legs, draw the shoulder blades back. Puff the heart up, squeeze the inner legs. Exhale, bend the knees. Push back, downward facing dog. From here, we're gonna draw the right leg up towards the ceiling. Bend the knee as you plant the foot between your hands. Drop your back knee, inhale, low lunge, arms come up. This time just cactus your arms and begin to puff your heart up. Exhale, draw your elbows in as you round forward. Inhale, puff the heart up. Exhale, round. Last one, inhale. And as you exhale, bring your fingertips down and then shift your hips back into your half splits. So keep a nice straight line with a little micro bend in the, le the knee from the heel to the hip. Root the heel down into the mat and flex the toes towards your face. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, melt. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. And as you exhale, shift your weight forward. Bring your left hand down and take your right arm up. So we've got a revolved lunge here. Really reach up through the fingertips. And then nice and slow, you're gonna mean to draw your hand behind you. Really puffing up through the heart. And then if it's accessible to you, see if you can pick up your back foot, draw it towards you. If you can reach for it, go for it. But if not, just work to squeeze the foot up towards you. Once again, really, really draw the heart up. Exhale, slowly release. Hands come down, pick up the back knee, find your plank position and come all the way down into the belly. Untuck the toes. This time, you wanna walk your fingertips forward. You wanna imagine that you're drawing your thumb and your fingers towards each other and that your fingers are like straws. So the more that you squeeze the fingers and thumbs towards each other, you're gonna drink this energy up into your arms towards your heart. And like we continue to do, ground down to your foundation, keep your chin tucked, and then as you inhale, begin to lift your chest, keeping your chin tucked as you draw up. When you arrive, untuck your chin and exhale to bring you down. Really finding that space and not compromising your lower back. So only go to the height that is comfortable for you, but you'll find that you'll have a bit more of a protection if you really work to ground down through the legs and the pelvis. So two more. Inhale, tuck the chin. Lifting up. Exhale, release. Last one, inhale. And as you exhale, come down. Tuck the toes. Pick the hips up, keep the chest lifted, draw back. Child's pose. Round yourself forward, downward facing dog. Once again, take a nice long inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Left leg comes up into the sky. Bend the knee as you draw the knee in towards the chest. Plant your foot at the top of the mat. Drop your back knee, low lunge. Inhale, draw the arms up. Exhale, cactus as you puff your heart up. Bring your elbows in, squeeze in. Inhale, puff the heart up. Exhale, round. Last one, inhale. 
And as you exhale, bring your fingertips down, shift your hips back, and we find our half splits. Bring your hands either side of your leg, root through your heel, draw your toes towards your face, and inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, melt. Inhale. Exhale. And on your last one, inhale. Shift your weight forward. Plant your hand, your right hand down, and extend your left arm up. So have a low lunge here with a revol revolved upper body. Reach through the fingertips. Ground down through your bottom hand. And then maybe begin to lean back. So draw your arm behind you, really rotating the heart up. And then nice and slow, you're going to see if you can draw your back foot up towards you. If you can't reach, just squeeze this leg. So we're looking like this, squeezing the, th the foot towards the sit bone, as if you're trying to crush a nut. But if you can reach for your foot, grab it, and then begin to rotate your chest a little bit higher up towards the ceiling. Breathe into what you feel. Nice and slow release. Frame the front foot, pick up the back knee, push back into a plank position. From here, shift the weight forward, lower all the way down onto the belly. Untuck the toes. Fingertips come forward, root down through your foundation. Inhale, tuck your chin as you lift your chest. Drink that energy up into the heart. Exhale, release. Two more, inhale. Drawing the shoulders up towards the ears. Untucking the chin. Exhale, come down. Last one, inhale. Finding as much length as you can through the spine. Exhale, come down. Plant the hands, tuck the toes. Draw the hips back. We'll just come down to a regular child's pose. Drop the crown of the head. Connecting to the breath. Feeling the beating of your heart. And then from here, you're going to inhale. You're going to begin to come onto your knees. You're going to sweep your arms up. Bring your hands into a prayer position. Then you're going to bring your hands behind your head, squeeze your elbows in. And you really want to imagine someone's pulling you up through your heart. So as you do this, push your hands into the back of your head, squeeze your elbows in, take your eye gaze up, and really push down through your knees, squeeze your inner thighs together as you draw up through your heart. So find length. And then as you exhale, slowly release. Bring your hands forward. Pick up the knees, and we find our downward facing dog. Come into the balls of the feet, begin to wave yourself forward, high plank. Exhale, sink the hips, draw the shoulders back, upward facing dog. Exhale, bend the knees, draw the hips back, chest stays lifted until you arrive. Inhale, draw up rounding through the spine exhale sink the hips draw the shoulders back upward facing dog exhale bend the knees push yourself back take it nice and slow last one inhale rounding forward finding our upward facing dog really pulling back through the heels drawing the shoulder blades back exhale downward facing dog take a moment here from here you're going to take the right leg up towards the ceiling draw the knee in towards the chest plant the foot at the top of the mat drop your back heel so it's at a 45 degree angle and inhale sweep your arms up we come into our warrior one Bend into the front knee as you track your hips forward and take your ideas up. As you exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Draw your hands down and puff your heart up. 
keep bending into the front knee. And then nice and slow, begin to straighten your front leg and see if you can bow. Really root through the feet, drawing the crown of the head down and maybe bringing the arms up. Keep a little micro bend in your front leg. Nice and slow, we push back up with control. Draw the arms up. Bend into the front knee. Hands come down. Push back into your plank. Let's move through a vinyasa. Shift down. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Take a few breaths. Draw the left leg up towards the ceiling. Bend the knee. Draw the knee in towards the chest. Plant the foot at the top of the mat. Drop the back heel so it's at a 45 degree angle. Inhale, draw the arms up. Come into our warrior one. Take your right gaze up. Really draw up through the heart as you sink into your front knee. As you exhale, bring your hands behind your back. Pull your hands down as you puff your heart up and begin to straighten your front leg. As you exhale, see if you can fold forward. Really root down through the soles of the feet. Keep a little micro bend in the front knee. Crown of the head comes down. Slowly push into the legs, nice and slow and controlled. Bend to the front knee, bring the hands down. Find your plank position. We come all the way down this time onto the belly. From here, untuck the toes. Interlace your hands behind your back. Ground down through your foundation, so push into the tops of the feet. Squeeze the inner thighs towards each other, navel towards the spine. As you inhale, imagine someone's pulling your arms back as you lift your chest up. Exhale, release. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. And as you exhale, release. As you reconnect to your breath, this time we're going to begin to draw the legs up. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so what I want you to do is I want you to bend the knees and draw the feet towards you. Now normally we would go for grabbing onto the feet. And if you can reach your feet, you can go for this. But what I actually want you to work on doing is reaching for your feet, but not actually grabbing them. So we're focusing on more on using and utilizing our back muscles. So we'll go through it together. So pull the knees up. I want you to walk your fingertips forward. As you inhale, begin to lift the chest up. Exhale, come down. On your next inhale, sweep your arms behind you. Imagine someone's pulling your arms back. Really reach back, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Squeeze your inner thighs and pretend that you're reaching for your feet. Even if you can, don't grab onto them. Pull up. Slowly release. Come down. This time, you're gonna bring your hands either side of your chest. You're going to push the tops of the feet into the mat, squeeze the elbows in towards each other and begin to lift the chest up. It's a little baby cobra. Then see if you can pick your hands up. Then see if you can pick your legs up. This time shoot your legs back, squeeze your inner thighs, point your toes, draw your elbows towards each other and see if you can find a little bit more height. And then nice and slow release. This time we push back into a child's pose. Keep your knees together. Drop down onto the head. Wrap the arms around. Little counter pose. And then when you're ready, take your arms out wide. Tuck your toes and we begin to draw our hips all the way back up into our downward facing dog. 
Pedal through the feet. Connect to the breath. From here, draw the right leg up. Bend the knee as you draw the knee in towards the chest. Plant the foot between the hands. From here, take your right fingertips forward. Squeeze your thumb and fingertips towards each other. You can keep your other hand to help you balance, but float your back leg up. From here, you can bring your hand onto your hip, or you can extend your arm up as you begin to open your hip out. Flex your back foot, and we come into our half moon. See where you can keep your eye gaze? Maybe it's on the floor, maybe it's to the wall, maybe it's to the ceiling. Find your stability. And then if you feel okay, maybe you can grab the foot. Move nice and slow, controlled in the leg. When you've got your foot, begin to kick your foot away from you. Really opening out. Nice and slow. Release the arm, release the leg. Begin to square off the hips. Bring your hands down. Bring your back foot into your plank position front foot to meet the back, sorry, into your plank position. Move through your vinyasa. Come back into our downward facing dog. This time left leg goes up, bend the knee, draw the knee in towards the chest, plant it between the hands. Left fingertips go forward. Press into the front foot as you float the back leg up. Flex this back foot, activate this leg, Take your hand onto your hip, or you can extend through the fingertips. Really open out the hip. Challenge your balance. And then see if you can grab for the back foot. If you've got it, kick the foot away from you. Nice and slow release. Move as slow as you can go with the breath. Plant the back foot, plant the hands, find your plank, move through your vinyasa. Push back into a child's pose. Drop the crown of the head. Wrap your arms around your body. And just settle. Draw yourself up, come down onto your sit bones, and we're going to make our way all the way onto our backs, plant the soles of your feet, roll down. When you arrive, walk the soles of your feet towards your sit bones, tickle your heels with your fingertips and make sure your feet are pointed straight and about hip width apart. We're just going to come into our bridge pose. So from here, I want you to really root through the feet. And then as you inhale, draw the tailbone up as you pick the hips up. Push through the feet and stay grounded through the back, the upper back and the crown of the head. You can stay here if you want to go a little deeper. Just begin to walk your shoulder blades underneath you as you interlace your hands under your back. Push into your hands as you begin to draw your hips up a little higher. Keep a little activation in the glutes, but nothing too crazy. So you don't want to swallow your pants. <laughs> See if you can really feel the opening in the heart. Push down. More, the more you push down, the more you'll feel your energy lift. And then nice and slow, release the hands. Lower all the way down, nice and controlled onto the back. Draw the knees in. You can roll from side to side if that feels good. Shoot the right leg out and keep the left knee drawn in. Then begin to drop the left knee over towards the right. We take a supine twist here. So take your left arm out and take your eye gaze in the direction of your left arm. Settle into your twist. 
practice a little counterbalance, uh, a little counter pose for all of the heart openings we've been doing. And then when you're ready, slowly come back to center. Shoot that left leg out. Draw the right one in. Really squeeze in. And draw the right knee out to the left. Take your rotation over to the right side. Our gaze follows. Just settle here. And nice and slow, we come back. Last time we draw the knees in. Give yourself a nice big squeeze, roll from side to side to release the lower back. And we'll just come down for a few breaths just in our last position. If you feel that you've got a little uh, heat or a little bit of discomfort in your lower back, bring the soles of your feet down and drop your knees in towards each other. And just bring your hands onto your belly. Or if you like, you can extend your legs fully out into Shavasana. Or you can also bring the soles of your feet together and drop the knees out. Whatever works for you, whatever feels good. Reconnect to the breath. Just noticing the energy and how different it feels since the start of the class. See if you can just tune back into that heart space and the intention that you may have set for yourself. And while you're here, stay as long as you would like. If you feel that you need a longer Shavasana, always listen to your body. I will always say, regardless of what the practice looks like, Shavasana is the most important part it's our time of integration. No matter how fast or slow we move, no matter how long or short we move, always make time for this pose. Deepening the breath, grounding down through the breath, allowing the back of the heart and the head to feel heavy. Knowing that you are fully supported by the earth. And then together, let's take an inhale through the nose. Open the mouth and side release. Thank you guys so much for practicing with me today. I hope you really enjoyed this little heart opening sequence. And I hope to see you in the next class.